in Descent of Man, called by one of Darwin's biographers his greatest unknown book. It's really worth uh, reading. There are two chapters on morality, and I'm going to quote, give you two quotes from those chapters. And it's such fun to be able to read Darwin aloud. Several years ago, a keeper at the zoological gardens showed me some deep and scarcely healed wounds on the nape of his own neck, inflicted on him whilst kneeling on the floor by a fierce baboon. The little American monkey, who was a warm friend of this keeper, lived in the same compartment, and as soon as he saw his friend in peril, he rushed to the rescue, and by screams and bites, so distracted the baboon that the man was able to escape after running great risk of his life. Lovely little story. Uh, I particularly like it that it was an American monkey. <laughs> One more quote. Nevertheless, many a civilized man who never before risked his life for another, but full of courage and sympathy, has disregarded the instinct of self-preservation and plunged at once into a torrent to save a drowning man, though a stranger. In this case, man is impelled by the same instinctive motive which made the heroic little American monkey formerly described save his keeper by attacking the great and dreadful baboon. This really could go into Sesame Street. I mean, it's a wonderful uh, story. Uh, what he's raising for us uh, is what I'm currently terming heroic compassion. That is compassion in which you put your own life at risk. The person who jumps into the subway to rescue and pull somebody out of danger, who jumps into the ice-filled lake to rescue a skater who's fallen through the ice. Uh, Christian Monroe, a political scientist at Irvine, has studied a number of these people. Uh, critical is, well, there are really two forms. I'm only talking about impulsive. Impulsive is you don't have time to think. You just do it. And when interviewed after, why did you do it? How did you decide? The responses are, I had to do it. It wasn't a choice. I didn't consider should I or shouldn't I. I did it. Now, most of us don't know whether we have heroic compassion because we haven't been in that spot. We haven't been tested. Now, all the rest of the people who are standing on the subway platform who didn't move, they know that they don't have heroic compassion. Might be a difficult thing to live with. It's hard to study heroic compassion because we can't test it in the laboratory. And because there may be dozens of you in this room who have heroic compassion and you don't yet know it. And we can't find out, and you may never find out because you may never be tested. 